create a complicated screenshot, begin by making sure that all the panels are open, all your items are framed, everything's named properly, frames are open. And then take a first screenshot. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and do a command shift three and take a picture of everything. Then I'm going to scroll up in my layer panel to show the rest. Now I'm going to, it cuts off at frame three, so I'm going to scroll up and make sure that's, that's there. And then I'm going to go ahead and go command shift four and just select the panel, the area of the panel that was invisible before. And I'm going to close this. Uh, yeah, let me make sure I save it. I'm going to close the timeline. Then I'm going to go back and open up my two screenshot items again in Photoshop. Drag those right into Photoshop there. Boom. Now move that over. Now I've got uh, the main one. I can grab this, drag it right over. I'm going to close this out. Just get rid of it. Position this panel over here so it uh, is fully visible but doesn't obscure anything over on the other one there. That'll work. Just like that. And if I really want to get snazzy, I can crop that down. So just that bit. And in this case, I can actually then extend that out like that. And export, save for web. Make sure it's JPEG low. Save. And then go to your assignment folder. I'm going to select that, change that to a 2, and make sure you change that JPEG. Just make sure it's the proper extension. Save into your assignment folder and save. Close screenshot. And you're, that, that's that.